a video about all the problems etc etc that you can uh, encounter when you want to develop audio amplifiers yourself. So this is not a video for beginners, uh, only for more or less experienced people and people that want to do experiments. Uh, that also means that this vlog has no conclusion. Uh, a circuit, this circuit was published in the 1970s in Radio Bulletin and here you see how it was made. Uh, the, say, the values of the resistors are in a next page, but anyway talking about the principles. We have here an N-transistor, NPN, here we have a driver, NPN, here we have a N-transistor, PMP, here we have a driver, PMP, and there's a big flaw in the circuit here. That circuit of the 1970s in radio bulletin. Of course, in this case, the base and the collector are shortcut, so drop this. Of course, that's nonsense. It surely will not work when you make it this way. Anyway, furthermore, uh, let me tell something more about it. Um, this is a phase shift circuit. Uh, it's not only a phase shift circuit, but it's also a pre-amplifier that receives the, the audio signal out of the first integrated circuit. And in this book it was a 741. And I'm going to try it to make it with a TL071. This is by the way a voltage divider and here we see say in fact two of the same value resistors that's important because with this tunable resistance we can set between the, the two bases of the driver transistors the proper voltage that is needed to make this circuit work as a say class B amplifier that means that the output current here to the loudspeaker depends on the input level on the first transistor. Anyway, I hope you can follow it up until now. Uh, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, by the way. Uh, here, this is a voltage divider, and uh, that voltage divider has a the, the simple uh, use to bring here the proper voltage drop between the two bases of the end transistors. Not the end transistors, the driver transistors. And because each silicon transistor, here there are silicon transistors used, has a voltage drop of approximately 0 0.8 volts, uh, and here 0 0.8 and here and here and here. So that means that this uh, say phase shift transistor and uh, amplifier transistor has to do a good job. Uh, it must supply here between the two bases of the driver transistors a proper voltage when it's driven with AC so say a uh, sound signal and that's here made with a 741 uh, of course in the 1970s that 741 was very popular etc etc no problems with that i'm going to use in my setup a tl071 that's a field effect transistor op amp though the pin connections are exactly the same and there are more videos on my youtube channel where i talk about it 
So this video is a kind of failed video because I could not get these two uh, Darlingtons here, this is the one and this is the one, into a proper conduction, uh, say giving out a real high current to the loudspeaker. So it's a failed circuit and when you don't want to look further no problem with that. And I will also show uh, in a few minutes how I made it in reality. Uh, well, uh, the first idea was to use here two 3.3 ohm resistors that didn't work, so I had to shortcut them. Uh, that meant that we get a more uh, proper a higher output current. So that was the first uh, interesting thing to do to get more output current out. And furthermore the whole circuit is in its experimental stage. Uh, in the bulletin uh, this was a 470 ohm resistor, here also a 470 ohm resistor, uh, perhaps this was 1 ohm or so, don't know that exactly, you can, like I told, uh, connect the emitters directly, but the whole, the whole circuit doesn't work, that's the most important thing to tell. Of course I will surely get it working and especially, say, driving high currents to a loudspeaker or in the voltage and current range of 12 volts to 18 volts and current 1 ampere up to approximately 2 ampere. Well, a lot of talking here, let's go to the reality. It's on my workbench. So, uh, I've used here on my workbench, uh, and furthermore, consider this video as a kind of amusement anyway. Uh, the BD743C NPN transistor, 100 volts, 7 ampere. The BD744C PNP transistor, 100 volts. And here exactly the two same transistors and this, say the driver transistor, is a BD139, that's here. So, uh, what will happen when we connect the signal generator, that's here, the final generator giving out an output voltage of 800 millivolts on approximately 300 Hertz. What will happen? It's amusement and of course it's also serious because I want to say uh, publish, a, publish a good quality audio amplifier. In this range, 12 volt, 14 volt, say perhaps 10 watt or or 12 watt or 15 watts or whatever. So I now connect the signal generator. So <laughs> that's quite annoying. But say it gives a kind of indication that such a circuit can work or has to be developed further to get a pure sine wave out. We have of, of course here the purest sine wave that we can get. And again this is a flog and not a successful circuit. It only shows problems. So again let's see what happens.
this is the signal on the scope and you can directly see that there are many problems. Uh, I sent in say 800 hertz or so. The sound is so fierce. So, uh, but uh, I want to say about some things about it, though the sound is so fierce, it's so much irritating that I cannot listen to it. But anyway, let me try. <coughs> These are oscillations. And here also oscillations. And here the sine wave. The sine wave is not uh, amplified properly. I have to scream a little bit, sorry for that. The sine wave is not amplified properly. Uh, so on the minus of the sine wave uh, there's a problem here and on the positive of the sine wave there's a problem here. Oscillation etc etc. Oh, I hope you can, you, you could endure this ordeal in a certain way. Uh, well, what does it mean? These oscillation uh, signals. It means that here, in this part of the circuit here, the say the, the positive driver or the negative driver, uh, anyway, uh, oscillates when a certain signal is put into the, say, the driver transistor audio signal. That's what I mean. On this frequency, perhaps on other frequencies, there's a somewhat smaller problem, but in general you can expect that this oscillation problem goes from approximately 20 Hz to approximately 50 kilohertz or 20 kilohertz etc. So that has to be cured here in some way. Where are these oscillations coming from? In general from the capacitance, say the stray capacitance inside the driver transistor or the stray capacitance in the end transistor. So you can say in some cases short that out by uh, connecting small capacitors in the order of 4000 ohms between for instance the base and the collector or the base and the emitter but of course that has a serious effect on the frequencies that such an amplifier can amplify and then especially in the audio range. So there's a lot to do. Thanks for watching by the way. A completely not properly working circuit though uh, it could be made into a real working circuit and especially most important thing is that uh, we have to drive on lower <coughs> sorry on lower voltages a certain AC uh, current into the loudspeaker and I've used these two transistors anyway uh, my camera will stop within a minute or so Perhaps it was somewhat interesting, thanks for watching. A failed circuit up until now, but anyway, when you want to do experiments you will surely encounter the same problems when you want to develop an audio and amplifier.